Hi, my name is Michael Chadwick. I'm a lead software engineer at Alteryx, and I'm here to talk to you about software development as an emotional system. So the first thing I want you to know is that emotions are not feelings. When I talk about emotions here, I don't mean feelings. I mean a, a more um, instinctual thing that kind of undergirds our behavior. They're, they're an earlier uh, concept in our evolutionary uh, process to get where we are than, than rational thought. They've been with us a long time. <clears throat> the other thing I want you to understand is that groups are the basic unit of emotion. So when you're talking about emotions, you're not talking about individuals, you're talking about groups of people relating to each other. So whenever you are dealing with two or, two or more people, you're dealing with an emotional system. <clears throat> what that means is that software development is also an emotional system because all or almost all meaningful software development is done by groups of people, right? Um, you have developers, but you also have QA. You have project management, maybe, or, or product management, someone setting the spec. Um, and I would argue that users are also part of this emotional system. So even if you have a single developer that's somehow doing the entire process themselves, if it's meaningful software, they have users. Their users are part of the system, too. <clears throat> so another thing you learn about emotional systems is that anxiety is inevitable. It, it will happen. There, if you have an emotional system, there will be anxiety in that system sooner or later. And then anxiety will tend to grow. It's just a natural thing that emotional systems do. They move towards anxiety. Um, it's, it's almost the fundamental energy of emotional systems. So what happens is when anxiety builds up in a system, we instinctively feel the urge to try to find some kind of quick fix to relieve the anxiety, right? So what happens is quick fix, quick, quick fixes, uh, to meet some kind of short-term goal under anxious conditions usually lead to compromise of, of your core principles and often a failure to reach your ultimate long-term goal, which you really want to do with, your, with your, your system, your process. And if you doubt me on this, just think about what happens to a team of developers when uh, t what happens to their code review process, their design process, their testing process when a project is late and the deadline is coming. I, th I think, I think you, you may have been there or seen that before. So my first maxim is, if you want to make good software, resist the siren song of the quick fix. Learn to stay calm and consistent in the face of the inevitable anxiety that arises in the system, uh, and, and manage that. I think that's a key part of, of good software in the long run, is managing anxiety. So there's a few other things that uh, you can take away from this. Um, one of them is I would argue that uh, what we actually create in our day-to-day -day job, what we're actually maintaining and working on, is not the, the software that's running on our users' machines. What we're actually creating is the system, the system of obviously the emotional system I talked about, but also our software development lifecycle, um, our build process, uh, the actual code, obviously, is, is also a system, right? But that, that whole system altogether, as a side effect, outputs software that runs on the user's machine. And so what we, what we have to do to get long-term success is focus on getting that system to function optimally to produce the software that we want to run on the user's machine. So my final, my, oh, not my final maximum yet. <clears throat> so, so just like a software system, um, an emotional system can incur rot and technical debt, but just like uh, a technical system, it can also be refactored. You can make incremental changes to an emotional system to get it into a better state. So the other maximum that I'm going to leave you with is that if you want to make good software, learn to think in systems, top to bottom, front to back, side to side, see the whole system. So that's it. Thank you.